In a previous video, we took a look at how to customize the ribbon in Creole Parametric 3.0, and Creole Parametric 4.0 added some really nice enhancements to it. And the way that you could customize the ribbon in 3.0 still applies in 4.0 and later. For example, there are icons that you don't want on the ribbon. You can right click and move them to the overflow. And if there is a command that you do want on the ribbon, you can right click on it and move it to the group so that you can get to it quickly and easily. But where you see the real enhancements are in the file options dialog box. And from here, I will choose ribbon. And for example, let's say I want to make some customizations to some commands that apply to multiple different modes in Creole Parametric. And on the view tab, for example, in the orientation group, there is a standard orientation command and I never use it so I don't want it there well if I remove it then you'll notice that it's no longer on here and if I right click on the orientation group there's an option that's automatically checked called propagate customization and so that means that it will automatically affect any other modes of Creole parametric that this can apply to so for example if I go over to this part model over here on the view tab, that command is no longer in here. Similarly, if I go to a sheet metal uh, part, uh, it is not in here as well. But let's go ahead and take another look at the file options ribbon dialog box. Another big change is the addition of what they call the common tab, which is a tab that you can add to all modes of Creole Parametric. And there are a few different commands that I like to have available. And instead of having to navigate through the different categories, you have a nice little filter that allows you to get to it. So I'm going to add this command to my common group. And let's also search for another one that I use very often, maybe server manager and one other one let's go and grab a model check command and model check regenerate and like before we can select these different icons and say i want this displayed as a large button and same with the other ones you can control how it is being viewed on there and so Another thing is that you can change the name of this. So for example, instead of common, I like to call it commands. And then I click OK and OK. And so again, right now I am in sheet metal mode. Let's hop over to part mode. I have a commands tab and those same commands are there. And also in my assembly model, I have my commands tab that allows me to get to my own personalized custom ribbon in the interface. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.